Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, we will clearly understand and concisely understand what CNN architecture is all about. What are all the layers in that? How is the processing happening? All these will be clearly explained in this session. Now this picture might not be clearly understandable for you, but I am going to explain step by step as in what is what and then you can correlate it with this diagram that I have presented in front of you. You can see that here we do convolution and then subsampling, again convolution, again subsampling, fully connected layer and then we get output. So what is it? Can we understand? It's very easy. The first layer is called convolution layer. This is the core process where we will choose a filter as we have done in the past. We have chosen filter 2 cross 2, 3 cross 3 filters are chosen and it will convolve over the input image. And scanning the pixels is what is called convolving. I am going to roll over the input image, hover over the input image and I will create and extract the feature map. Each feature belongs to some class and the filter essentially does the hovering work and that's called convolving. Now this layer also include the activation functions and we will talk about it little layer little later clear now what is the next layer pooling layer the pooling layer is also regarded as downsampling or subsampling layer now we have already discussed clearly about max pooling average pooling some pooling in my previous couple of sessions i i clearly explained along with mathematical examples as in how max pooling works now you now can relate it easily i have a lot of information in terms of say about 20 cross 20 pixels are there now i need to reduce it shrink it further so I go with max pooling where I can make it 10 cross 10. What did we do? We essentially reduced the number of pixels and we downsampled it. That is what is done after the convolution and that is called pooling layer. How many number of convolution layer can be there? How many times you can go for pooling layer? Again, that can be dependent on how many layers that you want, how much depth you want in your uh, model that you are developing and there is no restriction. You can have as many number of convolution and pooling layer structured in your model. Now what is the next layer? The next layer is called flattening. What do you mean by flattening? I am going to flatten it. What do you mean by that? I have got output from the previous layers and they are to be flattened to single vector. I cannot have more than, that's the point. I need to have only single vector there and they can be the input to the next level. That's what is done in the flattening. Now if you see the image that I have presented at the top, you will understand. I convolute the input image, I get the feature maps, I subsample it or I downsample it and then I go for further round of convolution, I again downsample it. Now what is the next step? The first fully connected layer. What is this? This is a very important layer which we need to understand. This takes the input from the feature analysis that we have done in the previous layers. I repeat, we have done convolution, we have done downsampling, we have done convolution, we have done downsampling. And the features, the feature analysis, all from these previous layers are taken and weight is applied there. Appropriate weights are applied here and this helps in predicting the correct label. Now what is the final layer? The fully connected output layer. Now here is what, you, here is where you completely get the output. As in, is it a dog or a cat? Is it a male or a female? That's being done in this layer. That's it. We have the five layers. The first layer is convolution layer. Second layer is pooling layer. Third layer, we flatten it. Fourth layer is first fully connected layer. And the last is the output layer. I hope it made a lot of sense in this session. This will help you in coding. That's why I put it before the coding uh, session that I'm going to teach sometime later. So please go through it once more if you cannot understand. If you have any suggestions, inputs, please go ahead and type it in the comment section. Thank you for the support. Please subscribe to the channel if you like it.